It's me, Jimmy Eggers. So here's a case from Ilicom. I bought it from Amazon Japan. I only pay around 10 US dollar. Again, why you will be wondering about this case? Because I really need a case. If I'm doing a street photography, I can use this case like this one. But I have to unzip it. I have to open it. Again, it takes time. Or I can just use a peak design clip or mount on my belt. But again, it can damage my camera. Because I'm walking, I mean, I can scratch my camera. I want something I can protect at the same time I can use. It do not fit my beloved case. I'm using with my EM5. This is the EM5 Mark III. As you can see, EM5 Mark III. Uh, this is the, with the 20 to 40 millimeter f 2.5, but it's also work with the 25, 20 millimeter f 1.7. Anyway, aside the, let me put that one aside. And then let me, let me just open it. And let me show you from this side. Okay, it, uh, the good thing is that it have two belt loop. So first you can put your belt here, or you can put like this. Again, if we are going to if we are going to pass your bath pass your belt through here, you cannot take out easily. You need to take out your belt. But I do not trust this one. If I'm carrying a heavy camera, I'm not going to use like this. But the good thing is that I can easily put in or out. My Japanese viewer, please correct me if I'm calling it wrong. It's Alicom, right? Alicom. So let me show you the dimension. This is the Alicom, uh, Alicom, Alicom S30. Okay, this is the S30 model. This is only 85 gram. It is telling you the reference. For example, the out, the, this one, 130 millimeter is the, 130 millimeter is the width. Let me show you. Okay, one minute, 130. Just one minute, one minute. Okay, 130 millimeter is the width. Let a lot of people do ask me how you measure the case for the camera. So the first number is if, is if the, like this larger number is 130 millimeter is the width like this. So okay, and 80 millimeter is the height, and 80 millimeter is the length. As you can see, I hope you get it. So even uh, in the front, you can understand. Can you see or not? Yeah, yeah. definitely you can see. So, can I fit like this first? Let me fit this one. This one is only the width is around 12, 120 millimeter, and then the length is around 75 millimeter, and then the height is around 80 millimeter, 80 something, 82. So yeah, we can fit easily. It's a little bit tight. Okay. So okay, for this is perfect for EM5 Mark III. I can easily, you see, I can easily, I can easily open. I don't have to unzip like this. So this one is perfect. And then I can, for example, I can, I can easily open like this. I can use this one for turn on and off button. Yeah, I can do, I can just, I can, I can use a UV filter. I don't, I can just do like this. Or if I'm using like a 14 to 42 zoom lens, then I can easily automatically turn on like this one hand. Tick tick. So yeah, it it fit quite nice. But again, this is this is the smallest case. Let me put it inside. So yeah. So now is the turn of the Fujifilm access turn. Okay, fitting Fujifilm access turn is a little bit hard. Do not worry, do not worry. I even bought the another case, uh, Alicom. I bought the Alicom, Alicom, this, uh, uh, this one is the Alicom 30, I bought the Alicom 80 also, I will be doing a review of that one also, just search Alicom 80, just search Alicom GMA Geek, you will find it, just write Alicom GMA Geek in YouTube with my name and then you will find it. So can you fit like this as you can see. No, you cannot fit, o okay you can fit a EM, you cannot fit a Fujifilm. I hope you like my video. Fujifilm is no go. Subscribe and bye. Maybe you can fit like um okay you can fit like the twenty seven millimeter f two point eight. I think so. But this one is a no go. This one is totally a no go. Let me just remove this one. No, this one is a no go. Subscribe and bye. You can check out my channel MBA Market Business Africa where I talk about my 
African business journey and give you tips and tricks on how to start a business in East and West Africa. And also check out my travel channel Outing Journal where I love to travel with my wife around the world. My wife is diagnosed with the retina pigmentosa so she is like now 75% technically blind but still we are not giving our hope as you can see my wife is half blind you can check out this video also make sure to check out my spider-man review this is outing journal also check out my online travel magazine outing journal where i love to write about travel article travel story for example such as this one I love travel writing. I want to become one of the best travel writers out there. And I'm also teaching on Skillshare. Please, please, please check out the Skillshare. I'm I'm giving you a one month free trial. Here's my course on Skillshare. More courses are upcoming on Skillshare. I'm teaching on Skillshare. And also check out my courses on Udemy. Yes, my courses on Udemy. I have around four courses over 20,000 students most of my courses are going quite well make sure make sure to support me on skillshare and udemy that's all keep going on never stop learning learn until you die bye